Hello, nice to meet you. Hello there. Since we are in the CIIE, talking about the trade, what are the long-term trends affecting trade? Really simply, what is traded, where it is traded, and how it is traded are all changing. So the what is traded, traditionally people would think of physical goods. Mm -hmm. So you and I would buy our DVDs and put it in the machine. Yeah. Now we would stream those films through ICE. And so we're moving from physical goods to data and services. Mm -hmm. So that's the what. The where things are being traded is changing again. And so what we are seeing is 3 billion people joining the middle income ranks and the large and vast majority of those are in Asia and in China. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, my view there is that this is a phenomenal and unstoppable force mm -hmm. that will drive huge growth potential. Mm -hmm. And therefore, what we're seeing our customers do is to create goods, really top quality goods, that are now really bespoke, made for China to optimize this shift in balance. Mm -hmm. So how are the customers responding to this? It's really interesting. So again, what you're seeing is the how stuff gets traded changing as well. And this is a result of these drivers. Mm -hmm. And there's also the trade tensions. But whole industries are changing because of the tech revolutions. Because you've got the internet, you've got e-commerce, you've got small corporates that can now, at a click of a button, access the whole world. Um, they can access this middle income community in China, um, whereas before it would have taken them decades like the traditional multinationals to build up that credibility and network. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing innovation on a pace and scale that we have just not experienced before um, this week, which is brilliant. And we're seeing our customers drive that technology as well. So whether it's AI, optical character recognition, robotics, blockchain, I mean, I'm really excited to have heard President Xi talking about reducing the trade barriers, mm -hmm. and he's acting on that right now, accelerating, innovating, and the ultimate um, goal of sort of a deeper integration into the global economy. And how do you see the supply chain development for the next phase? Corporates are now spending much more attention to the sustainability. Mm -hmm. So it's moving from resilience and agility to the proper sustainability. The largest part of a corporate's footprint on the planet mm -hmm. is through their supply chain. So I think we're going to see a world where value creation has a definition which goes wider, and it's talking about total societal return. So it's more than just profit, mm -hmm. and it's really what is your impact on the planet, what is your contract with society. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that plays very well to what we're seeing developing in the CEIE event here today.